Assistant Professor, Institute of Vocational Studies, Tourism, Himachal Pradesh University, Shimla. It gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the annual day of this section of the school in the 158th year of its existence. Our chief guest today, Dr. Nagar, is an academician at HP University in the Department of IVS Tourism. Dr. Nagar is a postdoctorate from ICSSR, New Delhi, and PhD in Tourism Management during the current academic year. It is a pleasure to stand before you today as we celebrate and discuss the incredible journey of educating and nurturing our young girls. Our institution, rooted in tradition, has proudly shaped the minds of countless generations. But just as importantly, we recognize the need to embrace modern teaching methods that cater to the unique emotional and developmental needs of today's girls. The children of Form 3 to Form 5 returned to school on 4th of March this year. We have 1,229 girls on our rolls, with 251 children in the upper primary department. Apart from striving to attain exemplary academic standards, we at Auckland House School believe in developing the all-round human personality. In order to achieve this, the classroom, the playfield, the stage, form part of the cumulative process of education. In this context, the children have participated in a plethora of activities, such as water conservation through art activity, slogan writing and painting activity on Himachal Day celebration, English and Hindi education, rangoli making, origami and paper art, face painting, dry cooking, sports, yoga, etc. Our girls have won numerous prizes. Participation in such competitions enhances their self-confidence, builds camaraderie, and teaches them cooperation. In June, Dr. Major Ritukandra, a dentist and avid philatelist, showcased her impressive stamp collection to our children. A seminar was conducted by her enlightening the history of Shimla. She shared her extensive knowledge with the students, providing a fascinating insight into Shimla. In June, 298 students from Form 1 to 12 witnessed the Chandrayaan Tip VR show. The journey of the Chandrayaan, its launch and landing on the moon, helped the students to explore the lunar surface. To explore the lunar surface. The students enjoyed this journey with the Chandrayaan VR experience. Auckland House School opened the STEM Robo Lab on the 1st of July 2024. The robotics laboratory was inaugurated by Mr. Ruben John, Principal of Auckland House School for Boys, where students and educators can explore the fascinating concepts of STEM and robotics. It brings numerous benefits to students, not only academically, but also on a personal and emotional level. The scuba diving training session was organized by Mr. Rajiv Sardana and Mrs. Archana Sardana in July. 97 girls and 7 staff members participated in this event. A maths club was introduced to give a platform to the maths enthusiasts to explore their mathematical skills and abilities. The maths quiz was their highlight apart from other activities this year. The little ones enjoyed a magic show which helped break the monotony of the classroom. Sports form an integral part of the school curriculum. In order to ensure the participation of each child on the play field, our sporting events are divided into three sections. The middle section sports day was held in May, and this is Nina Johan, Municipal Councillor Shimla, was our chief guest. The children participated in various track events, including a march past. They performed displays like umbrella, clapping, lesions followed by karate, skating, gymnastics, and races. Our girls won five gold, four silver, and eight bronze medals in the Himachal Pradesh Karate Association, which was organized by the District Karate Championship at Indra Gandhi Sports Complex, Shimla. The safety of our children is of prime importance. We educate our girls about good touch and bad touch through short films and talks. 
Going a step further, we have installed 120 CCTV cameras within the campus at crucial areas and constantly monitor the activities of the children to ensure their safety. The process of education can be truly meaningful only by ensuring a close and cordial relationship between parents and the school. The school has made consistent efforts in organizing counseling sessions for parents and also their wards, which have established a deeper sense of relationship with each other. A workshop was conducted for the upper primary department parents on the topic of emotional intelligence, aiming at nurturing emotional growth of a child by Dr. Priyam Dhani, an emotional intelligence specialist and certified counseling psychologist and also an ex opiate Today you have witnessed 202 children of this section participate in one event or the other and I am sure you have all enjoyed the efforts of your children. Parents, we know the journey of raising young girls comes with its unique set of emotional and developmental challenges. Our young ladies today are growing up in an environment filled with new pressures, social media, shifting societal expectations and more complex peer dynamics. As a school, we are here to partner with you in guiding them through these critical stages. Our approach is one that combines empathy with discipline, encouragement with structure. We focus on nurturing their emotional well-being by encouraging open communication, promoting self-awareness and developing coping mechanisms for handling stress and challenges.